The chat and conversation features in Teams are great. They allow you to talk in groups or privately, share ideas, files and so much more. Let's start off by understanding the difference between the two. Conversations are public and everyone in the team can see what you're saying and join in with a discussion. Chats are private and are just between you and someone else or a select group of people. First, we'll take a look at conversations. To start a conversation, click on the Teams icon on the left-hand navigation bar. Then select the channel in which you wish to start a conversation. Simply start by typing a new message in the box at the bottom of the screen and press enter or click the arrow to send. Everyone in the team will be able to see the message and join in with the conversation. If you want to reply to a message, simply click the reply option here and your response will stay as a part of that thread of conversation. As a general rule, if you're replying to a comment, always click reply. And if you're starting a new thread of conversation, use the message box at the bottom. It's also worth noting that if you want to mention someone specifically, you can at mention them. Just type the at symbol and their name and they'll be notified that you've referenced them. When someone in the team starts a conversation or replies, You'll get a pop-up notification. It will appear as a red circle on the activity icon on the left-hand navigation menu. However, if you're already in the conversation, you may not get a notification. Just underneath the message bar, you'll see some icons. The first icon is for format. This allows you to bold, italicize or underline text, add bullets and so on. A really useful option is the important icon. Just like when you send an email, you can mark a message as important so that it stands out from the rest of the chat. This is great if you're in a group with lots of different people and you don't want your message to get lost in and amongst the conversation. The paperclick icon is to add attachments. Click it and you can choose from recent documents, browse teams and channels, choose a file from OneDrive or upload a file from your computer. It's worth mentioning here that once a file has been added to the chat, it can be found in the Files tab. The next icon allows you to add emojis. The fourth icon lets you insert stickers into your message. And the fifth icon is the Meet Now option, which allows you to start a video call with people in the team. Now let's look at chats. Chats are private and can be one-to-one, -one, or you can select a specific group of people you want to talk to. But the key thing to remember is that these chats are private and only the people involved can see the content. You can access chat by selecting the chat icon on the left hand navigation bar. You will notice in this section here that there are two tabs, recent and contacts. Recent will show you all the recent conversations you've had and contacts are all the people you can potentially start a chat with. To start a new chat, Select the new chat icon, which is the icon located at the top of the chat section. The window will now change, opening a new blank conversation box. On the left hand side, you'll notice that you're given suggestions of people to chat to. If you hover over the names of the individuals, you will see the three dots appear. By clicking these dots, you have the option to pin that person, which means they'll always be located at the top of your contacts in a pin section, or you can add them to your favorites. By doing this, they'll appear in your favorites section in your contacts. It's useful to do this if you frequently have conversations with that person, as it means you don't have to constantly search for them. If the name of the person you want to chat with is already in your list, simply click on them and start typing. If the person you want to chat to doesn't appear in the suggestions, start typing their name in the two box at the top of the screen and click their name when it appears. If you add multiple people to the chat, it's a good idea to name the group chat, so you can easily find it at a later date. To do this, click on the drop down arrow to the right of the screen and type in a group name. Then start typing your message in the dialog box at the bottom of the screen. So let's start a new chat and see what we can do once you're chatting with someone. At the top of the chat, you'll notice there are four icons. If you have a camera and a mic set up, you have the option to have an audio or video call with that person. The third icon lets you share your screen, allowing the person you're chatting with to see what's on your computer screen. This is useful if you need to show them what you're looking at. The final icon gives you the option to add another member into the chat. 
If you want to do this, just type the name of that individual and click add. To start a chat, click on the message box at the bottom here. You'll notice that the icons at the bottom of the message box are the same as previously. Format, attach, emoji and stickers. And the fifth icon, schedule a meeting. Schedule a meeting is an extremely handy feature to have within a chat box. If you're chatting about having a meeting and you don't want to have to come out of the chat to create the meeting request, select schedule a meeting. A new meeting window will open and by default that person or people that you're having a chat with will be invited as attendees. You can remove them by clicking the cross next to their name and inviting someone else to the meeting by typing their name in the invite people section. Fill in all the required fields, add a title, location, time and date and details. Then select Schedule. The great thing is that any meetings you create within Teams will automatically sync with your Outlook calendar. Finally, the three dots are Messaging Extensions and offer you further options to add to this chat. For this tutorial, we'll install Stocks. When you've done so, you'll notice that it appears as an icon next to New Meeting. Within your chat, you'll notice you have tabs at the top called Files, Organisation and Activity. Within Files, you can find all of the files that have been shared in this chat. Organisation shows an organisational chart of all the people in your team. And Activity shows the activity that you have in common with that person you're chatting to. You can add a tab by selecting the plus sign next to Activity. So, as you can see, the chat and conversation features within Teams are all about making it easier to work collaboratively. We hope you found this video useful. Make sure you check out our other videos to get the most out of Microsoft Teams.